All right, all right. Uh, Shalom Amakim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory uh, to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kwadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushed his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know. And I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Recha Kodash, you know, uh, Adawan Ratazah, you know what I mean? Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Recha Kodash, is going to be basically on follow not a bold, but travel not by the way with a bold fellow, all right? And this lesson is inspired, you know, by that, what, that, um, the Israelite leader, one of the Israelite group leaders, Chief Ephraim. All right. All right. He, he made a statement that, all right, because there was a um, brawl all right, in Chicago with the uh, Palestinians. All right. And the, and the Israelite group, which they say black Hebrew is like, which we're not black. All right. Watchmen for Israel up in Chicago. And there was like a big brawl between the uh palestinians protest all right in the uh, in the israelite group man watchman for israel all right and then this dude chief ephraim talking about some he's calling out all the israelites groups for a part two basically a, a, a part two brawl a royal rumble all right which that's not all right we're not out here to to be uh brawlers all right scripture says i right, don't be a brawler the lord said be wise as a serpent harm as a dove man so they're going according to their own will. So this is the book of Sirach, chapter 8, in verse 15. It says, travel not by the way with a bold fellow, a tough guy. All right? You're not supposed to be following a, a hothead, all right, a dude that's a carnal-minded. It says, least he become grievous unto thee, for he will do according to his own will, and thou shalt perish with him through his folly. Yeah, you go out there with a bold fellow, you try to fight. You try to fight those Palestinians, and your ass wind up getting killed, man. You're going to perish in his folly. All right? You're not supposed to be following these bows, bu uh, bug outs. Shiver said, follow, what's, let me see if I can find that. Exodus. There with me. Exodus 20, 23, bear with me. I'm just rolling through the spirit, Lord, when it's edifying. Exodus 23, yeah, I was right. Exodus 23, verse 2, it says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You're not supposed to be following wicked men to do evil. You're not going, you're not going into the will of the Lord. You're going according to your own will. All right. And you're going to perish in, in that uh, doing. It says, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgments. All right. So the point was you're not supposed to follow a multitude to do evil. All right. You're putting a stain on Israel. But hey, y'all going to get caught up in there. All right. The Lord says, Jacob's trouble's coming. All right. So... Hey, Jake about to get caught up in it, man. All right? Because the Lord said when Esau comes down, because Esau, he going to come down on everybody, but the Lord's going to lift up a standard for the elect, man. All right? This is the book of um, Psalm chapter 1. Psalm chapter 1 and verse 4. Um, no, bear with me. Yeah, my bad. So like a Psalm chapter 1 verse 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So bless that man who's not walking in the counsel of the ungodly. Yeah, they know Israel, but their doctrine and their, their ways and their, their teachings are, are off. All right? All right, there's an Israel of the Most High and there's just regular Israel. All right? We believe, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shemashah, Lord willing, 
Hey, we the Israel of the Most High, man. Started with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scornful. All right, so we not so blessed is that man that don't don't follow the counsel of the ungodly, man. All right, it's another precept. Bear with me. The Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs. That was a good one too. But Proverbs chapter. Proverbs chapter one. It's like it. Well, that was good too. Psalms was good too. But it's Proverbs chapter one. In verse 10. It says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Alright? These niggas going off. You're not supposed to consent to them. Alright? If they say, Come, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privately for the innocent without cause. And they what they want to lurk for blood. They want to go up and start a Roy Roma part two, even though they said the Palestinians spit on them. And hey, we, I, I should say, I, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. The Lord said, hold thy peace and he shall fight for thee. They, all these precepts going out of their head, man. All right, because why? They're, they're not walking in the spirit, man. It says, verse 12, it says, let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substances. We shall fill our houses with spoil. All right, which is going to another, you know, you know, somebody's trying to rob people. All right, but they're they're doing it all right to uh, to get followers, to get fame, to get clout, to go viral. All right, jump down. Verse fifteen, my son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. Verse sixteen, for their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. All right, and that's these people, man. All right, all right. They're going for their own gain. You know, their feet, all right, their feet uh, run to evil. All right, we're not supposed to be in that be in that spirit, man. Let's get some words of our Lord Yahweh. I'll close out real quick lesson, man. This is book of Matthew chapter 5. Where's this 10? Bear with me. Yep, Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. So if a sheep in the midst of wolves, how is he going to act? <laughs> You're not going to be like trying to fight the wolves if you're a sheep. You're going to lose, man. It says, behold, I send you forth as a sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So we gotta be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, man. All right. Apply the scriptures, man. Don't follow a bold fellow. All right. All right. This is the book of um. Bear with me. Just rolling through the spirit. All right. And they, they're very prideful, man. All right, you got to let the Lord hey, fight your battles, man. All right. You can't be, all right, uh, brawlers and uh, try to fight, try to fight these battles ourselves. Yeah, I'll watch my shots going to fight our battles, man. Yeah, Corinthians 10, bear with me. Let's say the weapons of our warfare are not carnal.
Actually, let me get this one. Let me get this one before I get that one. This is the book about uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. In verse 9, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit to the kingdom of the most high? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the most high. All right? Revilers. All right? You can't be in that. You can't walk in that spirit, man. All right? Lord told us how to move, man. All right. You like a boss, like a elder, elder Yash woman said, "Yeah, how wish I was spit on." So, so y'all not applying the scriptures, man. All right. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, he didn't fight that. All right, the Lord, the Lord held his, held his, uh, peace. All right, and, and what, now he's on the right hand of the Most High. He's going to come back and avenge us. He's going to come back and, and, and fight this devil, man. All right. I should say break his strongholds. There we go. Here it goes. Damn. Second Corinthians 10. I know it's I said first Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 10 in verse 3. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling downs of strongholds. So the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. Alright. Our weapon is what Strip say the uh Hebrews 4. The word is quick and powerful, dropping it any to edged sword, man. That's our defense, man. Are you how about you shot? You know, us teaching this word, man. That's sharper than any two edged sword. Let's get that stuff over there. Hold my phone and cut off. But I'm gonna just get a couple more precepts. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it says. For the word of the Lord, the Most High Yahweh Shemashai, is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart. So, uh, what war, our word for not corner? This word slice and dice, man. This, once this word come out, it hits the uh, it hits that spirit and it cuts them, man. Just say a wounded spirit who can bear, man. All right, you know. So that was pretty much it, man. Don't follow these bug outs, man. Don't follow bold fellow. All right? And that's what they are, man. And then what? At least you perish. All right? Trying to follow that, man. The Lord said be peaceful. All right? Be, live peacefully with all men. We out there to teach the word, man. All right? Follow. Don't go in the counsel of the wicked, man. Of uh, uh, brawlers and, and uh, tough guys, man. We ain't no tough guys. The Lord will jack you up, man. Or if you be on that tough stuff, man. Yo, it's a time and season, but hey, man, ain't that time to, to to do that, man? All right, especially in these time when the Lord give us that power, then we gonna uh, uh, do the will of the Lord, man. But right now we, we use uh, doves, man. All right, uh, sheep, man. All right. So, Lord, when this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory. Unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and the elders at Great Millstone with Ruba. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Inshallah, keep pushing, keep it going. Inshallah.